let's face it, we are all looking for success in one area of life or another, whether it's business, social, family, sport, or even spiritual. We're looking for that success. And today there is so much knowledge, you know, on the internet, there's teachers, there's courses, there's books on telling us how to get success in different areas of life. But the one thing that underlies all successes, no matter where it is, is a mind that is operating in a peak state, in a very, very good state. If your mind is subject to depression or anger or whatever, then no matter where you're trying to get success, you are going to be hamstrung. So my question to you is, what is a mind that is operating in a peak state? Now, I think that there's broadly two answers to this. If you're sort of from a business point of view, then people will say it's about, you know, excitement, focus, motivation, enthusiasm, keenness to, and clarity on where you want to go. And the world abounds with business mentors that will motivate you to get into that state of mind. But then, as you know, I'm a meditator and from a sort of more spiritual perspective, a person would say that a peak mind is one that is totally tranquil, calm, and maybe with a heart of gratitude and love and generosity. And so there's lots of spiritual teachers out there also teaching that sort of state of mind. And roughly, we are searching for both of those states of minds depending on what we want out of life. But my question is, is it possible to have both together or are they one and the other? Well, in my experience, yes, it is possible. But not only that, they support each other. So if you can create a calm state of mind and there are periods in your day where you feel totally at peace and tranquil, then that creates a fantastic foundation for also getting in a state of mind where you want to take action. And in fact, what happens is when you combine the two, then that state of mind produces a sense of flow in your life where you almost effortlessly go out and achieve things without trying. So there's not that uh, stress of having or wanting to achieve, but things seem to manifest in your life. People are much more friendly towards you. They want to help you. So I suggest, and in my recordings below, is that we try to get a balance between these two states. So if you agree with that, please read on and see some of my other teachings, and I'd love to hear.